In this video, I want to show you how to compress so you can install and remove these valve springs found on L-head or uh, side valve uh, small engines. And I'll be using this tool here. It's a valve spring compressor. You can buy this tool through Briggs & Stratton. Uh, the old part number is 19063 and I think it's been replaced with a new part number which is 19163. But before I show you how to do that, I need to talk about the valves and the valve springs and the three most common types of valve spring retainers you'll see on uh, these small engines. This is the uh, exhaust valve out of a uh, Tecumseh engine. Uh, this is your valve head. Uh, the part of the valve which is machined and makes contact with the valve seat is your valve face which is right here. Uh, the part of the valve connecting the valve face to the valve head is your margin which is right here. Um, this is your valve neck, your valve stem, and then you have this groove here which is your valve spring uh, retainer groove. Sometimes you don't have a groove, sometimes you just have a hole with, that a pin fits through. And then for your valve spring assembly, this is your uh, valve spring seat, your valve spring, and your valve spring retainer. Um, you can have more or less part, it just, parts, it just depends on what uh, engine you're working on. Um, for example, uh, it's not uncommon to see this valve spring assembly without this valve spring seat. Uh, but the next thing I need to talk about are the three most common valve spring retainers that you'll see on these small engines. And you need to know that when you're working with that uh, valve spring compressor tool. So what a uh, valve spring retainer does is it locks the valve spring to the valve. And um, the first type of uh, valve spring retainer I want to talk about is called a keyhole retainer and it's called that because it uh, the opening here is shaped like a keyhole and the way that it works is it uh, slips over the valve stem and then it slips into that valve uh, spring retainer groove and it locks the uh, valve spring to the valve um, in the uh, on the uh, smaller uh, small engines uh, this is the most common type of valve spring retainer you see and I think it's because it's cheaper to manufacture but um, they're not as strong and when you get into the bigger engines you start to see uh, the split collar type uh, valve spring retainer which I will talk about next. For the uh, split collar retainer you have two split collars which I'll show you here and I don't have the correct valve for these split collars but I think I can make do with this valve and show you how it works. Um, they fit inside of the uh, valve spring retainer groove kind of like this. and you can see here that uh, one end of these uh, split collar is uh, wider than the other end and what that does is it prevents this uh, valve spring retainer from slipping off the end of the uh, um, uh, valve stem and it locks the spring to the valve. The uh, next and last type of valve spring retainer is called a pin retainer. Uh, I don't have an example of that so I drew one up here on this paper uh, in my drawing this is the uh, valve stem and instead of a groove they've drilled a hole where a pin fits through and this pin uh, prevents the valve spring retainer from slipping off the end of the valve and uh, thus locks the valve spring uh, to the valve. So now that you know which valve spring retainer you're working with um, we're ready to take our valve spring compressor tool and either remove or install the uh, the valve springs. Um, the valve spring compressor tool has two forks and each fork has an adjusting screw so you can change the width of the fork and what you want to do is uh, adjust these uh, forks to the same diameter as your uh, your valve spring. And then there's an, another adjusting screw where you can uh, either increase or decrease the distance between the, uh, the two forks. Once you have your uh, tool adjusted correctly, take your valve spring assembly and place it inside of the tool like this. And if you're working with a keyhole type retainer, make sure that the larger part of the keyhole is facing out and then compress the spring. And then once you have the spring compressed, um, if your spring assembly uses the valve spring seat, uh, you might have trouble inserting the valve stem through the assembly. So check that and you can see here that it's at such a great angle it uh, won't allow the valve stem to go through. So what, what I have to do to correct that is move this whole 
end of this valve spring assembly over like this so that the angle isn't as great and I'm able to insert the valve stem through the valve spring assembly. So now I'm ready to uh, do an actual install of this valve spring assembly in this valve um, using the uh, keyhole type retainer. Um, if you're working with the split collar or the pin type uh, retainer, you can use a small amount of grease on these parts to hold them in place while you release the uh, spring tension in the uh, valve spring. Take your uh, compressed valve spring assembly and place it into the valve spring chamber and line it up. Now take your valve and insert the valve stem into the valve guide. Now work the valve stem through the uh, valve st uh, spring retainer. Make sure that the spring retainer is locked in place, then release the spring tension and uh, pull your tool out. And that's how you uh, install the valve spring. And to remove the spring, you just reverse the process. Um, it's not always easy to grab the entire uh, spring, and you don't always have to. Um, you just want to grab a big, large part of it. And so insert your tool, grab the uh, spring and the retainer, compress the spring, and then unlatch it. Remove the valve and you can pull the spring out. You can see I didn't uh, didn't have to grab the whole thing. It's nice if you can, but um, sometimes it's hard to to grab the entire spring. Before I close, I just want to show you what I meant earlier when I said you could use grease on these split collars or your pin uh, retainers to uh, <clears throat> help you assemble everything. Uh, what I meant was um, so you have your compressed uh, valve spring assembly inside of your valve spring chamber. You insert your valve stem through the assembly and uh, you can use grease on the split collars and the uh, pin retainer to hold them in place. You just put a little dab of grease on them and that will hold them in place while you release the tension in your uh, valve spring tool. So that is how you use a valve spring compressor tool and the three most common valve spring retainers you'll see in small engine repair. Uh, if you've got any questions meant specifically for me, please leave them in my forum. The link is in the description for this video and thanks for watching.